Krista Rose has been out and about in the area, keeping an eye on conditions for us. He joins us live from Butler County. So Chris, how are things since this morning? Good afternoon. Yeah, here in Butler County, I'm happy to report that things have improved slightly, but only slightly. It is still gray. It is still cold. It is still windy and it is still wet. But let me give you a little live look at the intersection near where we're standing between Route 19 and uh, Route 228. Uh, this is in Cranberry Township. And as you can see, roads are still wet. And we've been watching temperatures drop this morning. Uh, and, and they dropped this morning down to 32 degrees. So it was an icy start to the day. And the ice collected on power lines, trees, and poles. Now, Penda told us that they started uh, prepping the roads in the evening on Wednesday night. And the full fleet was out this morning. And they continued to will continue to be out throughout the day. Uh, but even as the system moves on, PennDOT says there are a few key safety measures everyone should take into account today and throughout the season to stay safe. One is to stay informed about the weather and road conditions, and the other is to give yourself more time. Anytime you see a winter storm coming through, regardless of snow, sleet, ice, give yourself that extra time. Don't be in a rush. Give yourself the time to add a little bit of extra travel time to your destination just to be on the safe side. And please use caution if you are traveling today, even though the storm is starting to move out of the region, roads are still wet. So give yourself that extra time and slow down. And, uh, and please, if you're going out, still bundle up because it is cold. Reporting in Cranberry Township, Chris Rose, KDKN News.